ب I don't have anything to follow that up with, unfortunately. Oh. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. <laughs> I hope our spectacular rendition of a whole new job made it through. <laughs> I, I definitely heard my laughter. I don't know if the rendition made it through because Twitch once again unmuted itself. That is unfortunate. All right, everyone. So. We're moving into day three of the Willamette occupation by hostile forces. You know, we're we're getting there, but don't worry, that rescue helicopter is gonna come in real soon. Yeah, I'm still very happy about how much about how well we've been doing. Cause like, maybe we won't hit max level, but we're gonna get pretty close considering this is a blind playthrough for the most part. Hmm. Oh, gee, sand frame one. Hi. Welcome, welcome. Damn it. Okay. <laughs> Rest in fucking pieces, Lily. Rest in piss, everyone. Stop standing and stop leaning against the door. Madly. <laughs> door check! <laughs> Jolie, you have been selected to fucking eat shit. Oh, yeah, God. no one is in a good mood today. Not great. Like, I think um, some of the survivors do have, like, personality types that can clash with other ones, which I find fun. Ah, I have no idea what a jugula is, by the way. Oh, the, the song? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that's the security room, so that's whatever. We've got a little yeah, bit of time. Song. Ah. Well, shockingly appropriate, as all things should be. How have you been today, Sand? <laughs> How was your weekend? I'll have everyone know I spent most of my Saturday outside at a park, and I was definitely dehydrated, but I had fresh air and a good time. Oh, well... They're still having fucking drift problems. Come on now. God. Man, they really did just fuck that up, huh? Like, come on. Like, okay, I've only had the one pro controller, but it hasn't started drifting quite yet, so that's nice. I live in constant fear that my Switch light is going to start drifting, and there's just going to be nothing I can do about that. Yeah, like, uh, you really think they would have figured out that problem before bolting the controllers to the console. Yeah, you know. They would have fixed it at some point, and yet. And yet. Alright, I'm going... Where does this go, anyway? We tried to check it out earlier, but it didn't work. No, this is just... this is just a parking garage. Oh, that's a skip of the zombies on the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard the gyro controls are alright. I've never used them for obvious reasons, but like, people seem to really like them. You know, I still can't believe Carlito's still alive. He's immortal. He'll never die. Oh yeah, if you're wondering what we're doing, I was actually looking around to see if I couldn't find, uh... Well, this guy, apparently. Oh. There's an achievement for doing this, you see. Brad? Oh no, Brad, my friend Brad! Brad. <laughs> Don't get any closer! Brad, how did you get rid of all those zombies? <laughs> Talent. Raw talent. What's the matter, Brad? Are you hurt? Okay, like the gyro's nice, but I'm also you can there, just Brad. use the Joy-Cons for gyro there, controls. Frank? We'll patch you up. Frank, I think you need to look down like <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> this is a little rough, bud. 
Uh, just like that guy in Resident Evil 2. Just, just put a little band-aid on it. Put a little band-aid on it. I'm screwed. It doesn't hurt. Ooh. I'm already dead. God, cinematography. Frank. <laughs> Especially for the viewers who get Sans rants about how much Joy-Con Drift sucks. This is an emotional store. scene about Joy-Con Drift. Oh hey, look, Lou's playing Risk <laughs> Lou's playing Risk of Rain. Yeah, they just dropped the DLC for it, so I'm definitely gonna have to check that out after this. We're all so sad about Brad's death. We're all so Didn't... sad about Brad's death. Fun fact, if you take a photo of a zombie, you do get an achievement. Although I guess the zombie won't spawn since we immediately came down here to check and got this optional cutscene. We <laughs> <laughs> all saw Brad had gun and was guy. Oh, wait. Get out. Oh, so we got the cutscene and we get both. See, snuff shot B. Oog. Rest in piss. Rest in piss indeed. Sledgehammers, the worst of God. The worst of Dead Rising's big fucking weapons. <laughs> I don't know, they're pretty good about taking out half of the barrier pair. Fair enough. There's so many funny zombies, babe. So many funny guys here. Anyway, that was all we had to do, really. Unless there's... Oh, wait. I know what we can do to kill time. No. Yeah, so I was looking this up. There's a gun shop in the North Plaza that has... If you go there on day one or two, it does have a psycho in it, which we missed. If you go there on day three, which is now, there should be three survivors in there. Okay. Yeah, and there's very few survivors left, so we may as well check it out. Okay, so we want to go right, left, right. Oh, Sam, there is. There is an achievement for killing like 53,471 zombies or something. Yeah, it's pretty excessive. And you are wiping out an entire town. Shout out to Endless Mode, by the way. Ooh. Which has. Oh, wait, right, I missed the left turn. Yeah, if you actually know how to navigate these tunnels, it's pretty good for just getting around the mall. I don't. Yeah, where's the Dead Rising racing game? Oh, Race My Rising? <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad that got you, babe. God, there's so many zombies. There is. I really hope survivors oh. can get in cars, by the way, because that would be nice. Uh, maybe. Oh, hey. Doubt. Oh, hey, Proddles, too. Congrats. We've had that one as, like, a co-op stream possibility for, like, a year now, and we've just never found the time. Yeah. Oh, shit, this comes up... This is oh. this comes up in the supermarket. That's, that's a, just good. That's why the meat locker's down there. Okay, that tracks. Okay, so we need to go to not CD Crazy and not Ripper's Blades. Jeez. Yeah, we need to go to the hunting shack over here. Hmm. 
Yeah, we got plenty of time to get three survivors from the hunt and shack over to where we're actually going. It's only 20 million zombies in the way. Yeah, I feel like the zombie density's actually been rising as we go along. Yeah. You know, they, dead they rising. Just, <laughs> the dead have, in fact, been rising over the course of the game, like an ocean. The zombies rise up. <laughs> God, shout out to how violently Frank eats shit every single time we collide with anything. Yeah, it rolls. It just falls apart the second he impacts. Oh, missed the turn. I mean, at least we've got the time to kill before Jesus Christ. Before jamming device kicks off. Yeah, there. God, no wonder we missed this. Oh, yeah. This doesn't even look like it would have stuff. Yeah, okay. So again, if we came here at a certain point, we get like probably the least violent of the psychos because it's literally just a dude who does not want to get robbed. Okay. He's still. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh! <laughs> Hey, lad, please. I think we need to wait outside until he comes to us. Maybe. <laughs> My friend. Oh, I forgot we have the super soaker. Dying light zombies were pretty cool, honestly. Like, yeah, like the actual nighttime zombies were amazing. Horrible, and we never dealt with them, but they were amazing. Yeah, we took little napsies every time they showed up, but they were there. Yeah, like this is where you want to go if you need just like all the guns in existence. I don't know about the Romero zombies, I'm sorry, Sand. Oh, come on. Oh, right! Ah, uh, I forgot about that. If we want oh. them to actually come with us, we need to take a photo of the fucking air duct. Okay. We need to take a photo of the air duct to prove that it exists to them. I mean, oh. <laughs> we could wind back time to get them, but honestly... If they still live by the time we circle back... <laughs> yeah, like, they've got guns. They'll be fine. Oh, that they'll be fine. God, I really wish I knew where that frickin', uh, thing spawned. It probably spawns on the opposite end of the map from you every time. Yeah, probably. I'm gonna just have a whole pack of cookies. <laughs> Casual. Indeed. Like, if I knew how to navigate the tunnels under the uh, building, that'd be pretty solid. It's like they're maze-like on purpose, though. <laughs> I mean, I they... Mean they're... <laughs> there is a Yakuza zombie game. <laughs> there is, it does exist. It's quite bad. Yeah, don't you have to shoot the zombies is the thing? And the shooting yeah. is bad in that game? Quite bad, quite bad. N nowhere near binary domain levels. God, binary domain was so good. <laughs> they took so many lessons from Yakuza Dead Souls. God. So many lessons on what not to do in Yakuza Dead Souls. Well, that was an unproductive trip. Found them. To be I fair, mean... even if we'd gotten them to come along at that point, it probably wouldn't have worked out anyway. Just, yeah. just because we don't actually have that... Yeah. Like, it kicked off right as we were leaving. Like, if they're still there when we're done, we can go pick them up. 
Yeah, not to mention we'll be able to give them all shotguns. Yeah, see. Perfect. Great. There, we now air have. Duct. We now have the photo of the air duct. The cacophony in here. As soon as Brad gets his hands on that terrorist, I guess it'll be case closed, huh? Oh, I've got bad news for you. You know of anything else he could be planning? Frank, you met Brad. <laughs> Nothing but the bombs. <laughs> but that was an optional cutscene, you see. So we can't, <laughs> we can't bring it up here. Way. Yeah. I'm sure, there's plenty of information on it. Can you take me there? Yeah, I'm still not. To his hideout. Leave it to me. Yeah, this is a pretty involved case. Well, Thanks. rest in peace. We have five in-game hours to make it to the facts, so I think we definitely just missed our window to get those three survivors. Yeah, well, they shouldn't have been so picky. Yeah. See? <laughs> there they go. Oh, I think it might literally be once we start jamming device, they disappear. Sam, Metal Gear Solid is like a dream stream series for me. I would love to. Get, trying to figure out how to functionally play them is a problem. Look, I'll figure out how to stream Metal Gear. But only if Sand comes on and voices alt and does a bunch of... And just does a bunch of voice acting as Snake, even though Snake's already voiced. Sand versus David Hater. Alright. Ugh. I mean, I know 1 and 2 will emulate pretty decently, but 3 doesn't emulate well in the slightest. Yeah, but consider, I do have an Xbox One at my dad's. Oh shit, you do, don't you? You're a gamer. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's all coming together. Also, remember that bit right at the start where we had to follow Brad to Entrance Plaza? Now we get to follow Isabella to Entrance Plaza. Great. Which means not only do we have to deal with the bad AI, the bad AI is leading this time. Unfortunate. <laughs> I mean, at least she seems semi-competent. Like, she's moving. Yeah. yeah, she's like decently fast. We don't... Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, whatever will we do without our secret weapon? Oh, you, you've just lost the most powerful weapon in the game. What are you gonna do? Sand has to do all the text logs, actually. <laughs> all the Metal Gear lore is just sand. Cool shadow. Yeah. I think the funny part of this game is you can see Frank's shadow no matter what. It's actually it's more great. obvious in Shadow Shadows. God, I love old video games. Old video games are great. <laughs> You can do it. Come on. You just have to walk us. Where are we even going? Oh my fucking god. Oh, that's why they disappear. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah, so quite literally, that was our last opportunity to get those three. Ah, well. <laughs> fucking call us weeaboos, Sand. How dare you? That is so long. It's so long you broke your chat. <laughs> uh, 
That's why I have to reduce the font size. <laughs> Ash, which Metal Gear do we have? Oh, I, I like Metal Gear Ray. I, it's cool. Which Ray, though? Oog. Do you want the Ray with the laser or the other Ray? Do you want Ray with the riding laser or the regular laser? <laughs> God. You know, Metal Gear 3 is a pretty good starting point. That that one's good. My favorite's too because it's bonkers, but I, it's not the best, but it's my favorite. We'll see. We'll just do a full playthrough of all of them in sequence. <laughs> Including whatever the fuck Peace Walker is. Oh god. I, Peace Walker is like a PSP game, isn't it? It's so strange. Oh, well, I lost my portable, so never mind then. Not that having the portable would actually let me stream the game. <laughs> you you played the 3DS version of 3? How was- ma'am. How was that one? I, I, I kind of wanted to pick it up, but I wasn't sure if it, like, ran well. Babe, this is why they gave you, like, four hours to make it to the hideout. Purely for her. Did she? Oh my god. Ma'am! She routed back to get hit. Times like this, I wish I could just fucking pick up the survivors and carry them more. This is a very nice theme, though. It's great. I love this mall music. I don't know why the mall's playing music in a fucking construction zone, but hey. Isabella! I... I might try and see if I can hunt down a copy then. Well, actually my 3DS doesn't work, so I need to find a working 3DS first, but... You know, eventually. I mean, you can emulate the 3DS. Yeah, but I like playing it on physical hardware. It doesn't feel the same without the buttons. I mean, here's the thing, you could map a controller to... the controls. And I have Citra, I promise. I just like playing stuff with actual buttons. Alright, here it is. Here it is. A place oh. where I should have stocked up on healing items. <laughs> we are, we're making excellent decisions. Welcome. We're to... in the vents. Ah, good, she's not with us. Oh, there <laughs> she is. Ocarina of Time 3D. I did have that. I never liked it, and then I uh, gave it to Thomas so that he could homebrew his 3DS. Ah. It's no good. And I think he still has my copy of Ocarina of Time. I'll try words we both might know. Family stuff. Things like that. Use arbitrary code execution to replace Link's model with uh, Zelda. <laughs> Yeah, because the 3DS had a, had a weird thing where, like, certain games were just coded in a way where you could completely, like, break the system open, and Ocarina of Time was one of them. Back now. All right, cool. North Plaza Mall speedrun. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, this game has an interesting way of treating its female characters. <laughs> Frank's sleepy tired. He's <laughs> fucking exhausted. He needs a nap. God. Alright, anything of interest in here? Any food? No? 
Welcome to Carlito's hideout. It exists. Do you think those survivors would still be here if we hadn't pinged them earlier? Uh... Actually, probably. The second we activate something, it lives to die. <laughs> Either way, let's get some... Wait, this is the wrong direction. I need to get a replacement. The hell? Okay, so we could just go through here. Okay. Instead of going through half of zombie land. Either way, let's... Disgusting. Either way, let's go get Chuck's fucking, uh... Let's go get some new guns. <laughs> There's gotta be some shotguns here. See? This is the spot for him, yeah. Even got a new sniper rifle. There we go. Wow. We're definitely going to need some replacements on gear, but whatever. Yeah, that chainsaw is probably near and it's... <laughs> it's the end. That's why we have two of them. And a bunch of shotguns now. <laughs> Even if both these chainsaws are down to a quarter of themselves, that's still more than that's still more than any weapon would have without durability increases. Yeah, fair enough. We should grab a spare chainsaw before we get to overtime, because chainsaws don't spawn in overtime. Oh, unfortunate. Yeah, so let's actually grab so yeah, let's Oh boy, what does Simone Ooh. want? Oh. oh boy. Oh, oh. Simone. Simone the gunslinger. Let's hope this goes better than the last time we gave one of these people a gun. Hopefully. Either way, we've got a handgun, we've got nothing better to do. Uh. Ooh. Well, there's some healing. Either way, I think what we're gonna do is we're going to grab... We're going to grab a last chainsaw from Wonderland Plaza right after we hit the supermarket for some, for some extra wine. Is this efficient? No. Because we still have to go through Sion's food and stuff to do that. Unless I can ride... I cannot. <laughs> you cannot ride it through the door. In that case, if we need healing items, there's only one place to go. Because it would take a very long time to actually get to the back of the supermarket. We gotta do it this way instead. Okay, babe. Favorite zombie media. My Dead Rising's definitely up there. Um, Dying Light was pretty fun for most of it, until it became not fun. The original zo- uh, Zombieland. Fair. Um, I can't remember any other pieces of zombie media. Alright. That's another chainsaw. We will replace one shotgun and one sniper with, uh, wine, because there's some in the food court. Oh, Walking Dead Season 1. That one's good, too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I forgot Resident Evil thing was zombies. They just feel like weird monsters. I'm still sticking with Zombieland. Definitely one of my favorite zombie things. Alright. Cool. And it's probably just faster to walk straight across, because unfortunately we'd have to do a loop of... I mean... Now walking straight across probably takes longer than driving the motorcycle through two zones. Presumably, provided you don't crash horrifically. Yeah. Either way, we should stay on a bit of a time crunch, because... Well... Well, there's your answer. There it fucking is. Oh my god, look at this. <laughs> the entire town has come to greet you. Oh. 
No, let's take the maintenance tunnels. Let's go into the tunnels. <laughs> that one's got teleporting abilities. Ah. God damn it. This is one of the bomb trucks, so we can't actually oh. use it. At this point, we really should just turn around. You've made your choice. I sure have, considering we've gotta go <laughs> all the way over we gotta go all the way around. Ah, screw it, whatever, let's go. Forward! <laughs> Into eternity! Choices <laughs> are being made here today. If I can perform one zombie ride, I can perform them all. I never learned how to make untouchable smoothies that would just let me walk through zombie crowds. <laughs> if only we had a skateboard. If only. Yeah, the main tunnel is just not really that usable if you're going through it, if you're entering it from certain spots. I guess, I guess that's how you balance a cool shortcut. Like, this is objectively the worst. This way is objectively worse than just staying above ground and going through the park, because the park isn't this dense. This it place sure only. isn't. You can only really use this place if you're fucking in a vehicle, because, like, holy shit. <laughs> you! God. Right. Uh, well. Mistakes are made! <laughs> you know, Sin, I don't know. I really haven't consumed that much zombie media. Does Ethan, Ethan Winters count? Because I do like him. He's a weird lame guy, and I find that funny. Yeah, but the molded don't count in my book. Oh, boo. God, yeah, the tunnels just suck if you're not going exactly where the game needs you to. Oh, Jesus, Cheryl, what? Alright, we'll talk to Cheryl when we get back. This is... This route is so much worse than just going to the fucking... Than just going through the park. Holy shit. Voices were made. We're Choices being validated were here. Because this takes us to the entrance plaza, not even Paradise Plaza, which is where we need to go. Oh, God. We've... We routed around Alfresca Plaza and all those zombies by going through even more <laughs> zombies in the maintenance tunnels. We found a shortcut that was actively worse than just going the normal way. Favorite zombie? The Necromorph. Fair. <laughs> Alright. Ugh. Buttons! I picked yeah, up. You're, you're... I do not have my degree in video games, babe. I can't believe it. I thought you were gamer girl. I can't believe I picked up a fucking nightstick. <laughs> the game wanted you to die there. It sure did. My queen. <laughs> okay, so you can take queens between zones. I just, I never, I didn't actually pick up the queen you last just, time. You, like, you consistently just used the queen immediately because you just smashed through it. Yeah. Take a look at this. Ooh. Oh, hey, look, he's in the meat locker. <laughs> what? The guy being dragged? I think it's Carlito. <laughs> you could be right. Where is this? The basement uh, plaza. Ooh. Right in front of the butcher shop. Ash can't be my queen because the last monarch we encountered was Sweetheart. Yeah, you know what? I I refused this title. <laughs> Alright, real quick, who are we actually Uh it was it was two ladies. No, Simone's the one who wanted the gun, right? Are you nuts? 
Yes. We don't actually... <laughs> if only we'd taken a better route. Should we give her the gun so that she doesn't oh, zombify? Simone. Hey, what? Not a Are you nuts? Well, Ooh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Cool. Ooh. I'll give it to her after this then. No I'm, I'm, I'm going to the wiki. Simone Ravendark. <laughs> what a name. Not a chance. You got it. Okay, it is safe to give it to her. Cool. If that's a pose, that should be points, right? Perfect. Nope. Nope. What? Whatever. You can't be serious. Right. Cheryl, can you yeah. hurry up? We've only got like five minutes before the butcher oh, disappears and the truth is the and the truth fades away into darkness. <laughs> Ma'am, the truth is actively fading away into darkness as we speak. Ma'am. This is the one. Ma'am. Hey. You good? Bye. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, she wants you to zoom in. Oh, of course. Son of a bitch. How? Fantastic. I got a perfect rating. Is that good enough? Girl. What do you want? Why the fuck are we doing this, actually? Because <laughs> she requested it and she was so polite. Boy, get out the fucking door. the door! We can't! Yeah, <laughs> what do you think you're doing? <laughs> 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 this is fading into darkness. I'm just getting the shit out of Boy. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> you, take this gun. Ah, thank you. At least we got some free wine out of that. Fucking clusterfuck. Now you gotta sprint. When the hell did I drop the sniper rifle? Oh well. You dropped that, like, a while back, I think. I had two sniper rifles. I dropped one for the chainsaw. I don't know when I dropped... The other... Probably for healing? Probably for healing, yeah. Alright, the truth is actively fading into darkness. Let's go, go, go! Jeez. <laughs> Sprint. Run. Choices. Man, I have, I have no association with either, I'm sorry. Made. Uh, Sly Cooper, I've never actually played Jack and Daxter game. I've only played the time- I've only played the Sly Cooper game with a time travel, by the way. <laughs> Good. It's what it deserves. Is Sly Cooper the point-and-click one, or is that a different one? It's That's a... Spy Fox. Okay. Alright. We have, like, we have, like, 30 in-game minutes to go over there. So, again, right, left, right. First it's opportunity on all of them. Speed run strats. The car just explodes on us. <laughs> Harley does hidden bomb. <laughs> Sand manifesting in California to make me play video games. Sand is threatening <laughs> you specifically. <laughs> All right, it's let's go, driver. go, go. I'm outside. <laughs> <laughs> we probably have to get Carlito back to the security room, too, so we might have to reload a save anyhow, just from how long we took to get here. 
If only we hadn't taken the world's worst route. It was great, though. That guy over there. I, I mean, uh, that meat? Um. Oh, this is good meat, huh? I just got it in here. Carlito, out of all those magical escapes you did, how'd you get caught by this guy? Just wait right there, sir. Like, at this point, <laughs> you can he's tired. Ground meat you've ever tasted. <laughs> Whoa, ground? Wait a minute, listen. I had something else in mind. Zombies! Ah, uh, no good. I can't serve my customers spoiled meat like that. I have a reputation to uphold. Look, <laughs> buddy, I don't want ground meat. I want diced meat. Ooh. <laughs> I need to do it at home. I have no idea who that is, so, nah. <sighs> Dilf Servot is incredibly confused. <laughs> like, come on, man, you, you know what's gonna happen. See? <laughs> There he goes. Punisher! I think we've dealt with like most of the psychos. We definitely missed one or two. Yeah, there was that optional one that we didn't get. There's the fight. Um, yeah. So how's the game pull into the meat grinder? Or did you just fall over? You just you, you fell over, I guess. <laughs> it's over. What about Isabella? <clears throat> She's on our side now. She's checking out your computer right now. We did a Fire Emblem recruitment. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> like, if this, this situation has sides. It has been to get revenge for what you people did to Santa Cabeza. To my hometown. Why? Why was your meat so much more important to you than human life? I forgot the reason that the zombies existed so that they could sell more burgers to McDonald's. That doesn't excuse what like, you've done. Like, I think the the commentary on the expansion of industry and the cruel treatment and the ways, like, meet corporations the lengths they will go to meet those profit margins. I think that's an interesting thing, but I think the thing of, oh, you guys are just overweight. Um, is and you eat too much it's like not not good not good you almost had something and then you were weird and gross yeah i just realized the game has you go from north plaza to the security room back to north plaza because this place is right underneath the supermarket anyway i mean yep all they do is eat God, Sand, you've hit at the right moment because my Metal Gear Solid hyperfixation just came back like last week and I'm falling apart. Revolver Ocelot Gun's been top 10 moments ever. I want to commend Dead Rising for managing to make a satire that still just barely reads the satire. That still just barely reads the satire in current day. It's just like, like it's goofy, but it's not like. It's so, it's so cartoonishly over the top. It still manages to be like a quarter step removed from reality. It rules. I played yeah. Metal Gear Five. Yeah. Fun game, you, you, bad story. Yeah, like, my opinion on 5 is that it's a good game, but it's not a very good Metal Gear game. Just like Banjo and Kazooie. Yeah. Like, if it was just generic action game number 20, I'd probably be fine with it. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm amazed how li- I'm amazed how Shit. little that has happened where we've clipped through this. Oh, I say. Yeah. Like, they always keep There's... the- like, most of the time they keep the camera far enough away to accommodate this. It's- it's pretty impressive. Okay, we got time. We're good. We can get this meat cleaver, but like, why? For fun. Either way, some milk. And get rid of this queen, because honestly. Like, you're not gonna need that on the way back. Ooh. Anyway, rip to Carlito. Rip to him, but we're different. Wait, wait, awesome. wait. Awesome. Wait, wait, wait. We need, we need a shot for the, we need a shot for the news report. Yeah, they're nice. really gonna want this. <laughs> Alright, well anyway, let's get out of here. We got tons of time to make it back. I think they should put Frank West in a Fatal Frame game. Just give him the camera obscura, it's fine. Okay, so we're just going... Okay. It's literally just... Man, it literally is just North Plaza security room, North Plaza, North Plaza. Yeah. Like, I think the end game definitely has problems where, uh, because you're just going over so many places, it's not... Like, not even- you're not even going anywhere, you're just pinging between key locations. Yeah. I do feel kind of bad we missed out on literally the last three survivors in the game, but it's whatever. It, we could not have known. I mean, I probably could have known, considering <laughs> I'd looked up that they were- I'd looked up the fact they were there, I just forgot I need to take a photo. You know what, you could have known. I'm different, though. To be fair, I read this, like, in passing while I was looking up what all the- while I was looking up the brainwashing book myself, and that was, like, mm. on Friday. Yeah, I'd do it. So we should have more than enough chainsaw to make it through the end game. I would hope. However, we will replace- However, because we have time until memories kicks off, we're actually going to replace our sh our flash shotgun with a chainsaw. <laughs> Just we need a security chainsaw, babe. Because we of don't. Course, of course. Because overtime's a couple days long, and we don't get any more. Ch and once overtime actually kicks off, we don't get any more chainsaws. Admittedly, we still have like 12 in-game hours until until it kicks off because we literally have the time until the helicopter arrives. Still. Yeah. Also, it's sand. My opinion on Twin Snakes um, is that it's a very funny novelty, but it is, like, the worst way to experience the first game. What Twin Snakes? It is the GameCube remake of the first Metal Gear Solid game. Um, it ports a lot of mechanics over from 2 that completely break the entire game open because the levels weren't designed for them. Uh, and it also is absurd and over the top in a way that is completely distinct from every other game in the series. Cool. It, it is pure, like, just watch the Matrix level of over the top action. And also, they had to re-record every single line of dialogue because uh, with the high-quality sound chip on the GameCube, you could hear uh, car noises in the background of the original <laughs> recorded lines. Hell yeah! <laughs> Perfect timing, Isabella! This is so menacing, by the way. It's... <laughs> Zerfbot. <laughs> the return. Dilf Zerfbot. The Dilfening. <laughs> uh. 
God. My favorite one is two because it's really funny and I love something that can go so hard off the rails and just have the audacity to just be some absolute nonsense. I've only played five in Revengeance, so I have to give it to Revengeance. Yeah, Revengeance wins. I still love how you can find how Metal Gear 5 goes on sale. It's like five bucks. Jeez, really? Damn. That might be an exaggeration, but like, Ground Zeroes is more expensive than 5, and 5 gets like dirt cheap on sale. And Ground Zeroes is basically it. just a demo. Yeah. He died without telling me a damn thing. <laughs> Ooh. You know, I thought he was terrorist scum. Army has yeah, a track really record of treating the their system. their big name franchises like absolute garbage. The only thing, the only good thing that happened to Silent Hill in like the last decade is Pyramid Head getting into Dead by Daylight. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And that's only good in comparison to Pyramid Head getting into Pachinko. <laughs> Oog. I do think it'd be funny if they made Silent Hill 5, but it's just a pachinko video game. <laughs> Silent Hill 5 pachinko is the official follow-up to the story. Mama. It's that fucking... It's that fucking girl James walks out with in the happy ending. She's the protagonist now. No, no, the thing is, is that they almost did that with Homecoming, and then they backed out last minute because they were like, wait, that's stupid. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, one of the secondary characters in Homecoming was almost Laura from Silent Hill 2 all grown up. Detective Man from Silent bullet. Hill 3. Oh, God. <laughs> the new protagonist. He's, like, 90 <laughs> years old. <laughs> He's just an old guy. Did you figure it out? One of the major upgrades in the late game is a wheelchair that lets you get around faster if there's no stairs. <laughs> Thank God. The place we live. Santa Cabeza. <laughs> Ooh, the cinnamon topography. For the finale, you make friends with Pyramid Head and he just carries you around on his shoulder. Or you just <laughs> and you just play as Pyramid Head for the final section. <laughs> when I say my brother didn't want all this, he only wanted to live in peace in Santa Cabeza. Didn't you get to play as the Pyramid Head clone in one of those games for like a sequence? Uh, ooh, maybe. It's like all of the like Homecoming and Downpour kind of merge into one game for me. All right, we've made it to the facts. All cases oh. closed, but... Unless... Alright, talk to me. I mean, I guess now, just wait 12 hours. Yeah. I guess we just go. I don't know what he actually un- I don't know what she- what Isabella actually unlocked. Frank, the emergency line's been freed up. I'll give headquarters a call. Hang on. Oh, I know what's happening now. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. No survivors, this no objectives. The pure the carnage. Situation. Also, yeah, Sand, you should. The the first uh, three to four Silent Hill games are really solid. Yeah, four is very four is a very different beast. Four is interesting, and I don't have the heart to say it's like bad, but it's very strange. Oh no, that's awful. Boo! You put that back. 
We're invincible as long as we're dancing. <laughs> the prequel to... The sequel to Footloose. Dancing Immortality. I would love to watch a zombie sequel to Footloose. <laughs> we just need more zombie sequels. We need zombie sequels to just like every stupid movie. When Footloose enters the public domain, you all know what I'm doing. Give me the zombie sequel to How I Met Your Mother. HQ's decided to ignore us. Oh, that one's really getting me for some reason. <laughs> I love the little, like, half scream you did before you realized, oh shit, you need to be quiet for the people. Special forces will arrive for cleanup at midnight. If I was not staring in a room with several people, I would have screamed. Zombies. Sobbing, crying. <laughs> or sobbing, crying. <laughs> How I met your mother. <laughs> Zombie sequel. <laughs> How I hate your mother. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Sam. <laughs> I know, I know Secretary Lady's having a breakdown because they're sending in the Marines, but like... Who give a shit? We're making peak television. <laughs> Freaking how I ate your mother kills you <laughs> instantly. <laughs> Let me think, what's the most redundant area to have a zombie sequel in? Silent Hill, but it's a zombie game. Like, impossible to tell. No, 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 no. All the monsters are still there, it's just that there's also zombies, and the monsters are also pissed at the zombies. God. I don't know, let's make it something stupid, like, uh... Zombie Silent Hill. You still get your Pyramid Head clone, and you still have, like, your standard cavalcade of weird stuff and religious bullshit. But also, the protagonist is a cannibal, but the zombies are unrelated. Silent Hill versus Resident Evil, they just haphazardly mash the lore of both series together to make it fit. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that even I'm pretty sure that even with the maintenance tunnels, it is faster to take the motorcycle down the shortcut in Wonderland if you're trying to go back to the security room, but still. Good choices. We're making so many good decisions, Dave. Thanks, buddy. I forgot this door was- I forgot that this was the door. Ooh. Alright, I think we've got- Now, if I got my timeline correct, we've got like an hour and a half until the marines actually show up, so we got some time to dick around. Yeah, the end game is about to kick off. The prequel to the end game. No, I think the working car is the other one. Of course it is. I hate how these trucks are still here. I mean, didn't they basically just do a Metal Gear zombie game with Survive? Yeah, that game Ooh. sucks so much. <laughs> Not to remind everyone of Metal Gear Survive, but... They did a zombie thing with Ground Zeroes, too. I mean, technically it was like Body Snatchers. You got to play as Raiden, but you didn't get to use Raiden's sword. The game's lame like that. <laughs> Boo. faster with a working vehicle. Yeah, a little bit. Ding. Yeah, seeing actual literal Hideo Kojima in a video game is very fun. <laughs> the zombie sequel to the Saw movies. But the Saw killer... It's but the Saw Killer's just k but just Mr. Kojima himself. God. Wearing a Kojima mask.
God, the Saw franchise has such convoluted lore. I kind of love it. It was like, what? The first dude got cancer, tried to commit suicide, and then realized... and then wimped out of it, so he decided he would just start putting people in death games? Jessica McCartney? Yeah, pretty much. And then all of his successors fucking suck. Talk about your <laughs> yeah. Um... You contacted us just in time. Your boss thought we should have a talk with you before the operation begins. We'll be taking you into custody. If you sign an agreement to keep your mouth shut about all this, you'll be free to go. The zombie sequel to Dead Rising. Not Dead Rising 2, of course not. No, the zombie sequel. <laughs> zombie zombies. Oh. The Walking Dead without zombies is just like a cross-country road trip with a bunch of people you hate. We walk by night. Oh? So, fun fact, she did get, like, scratched or bitten or something. It was a note at some point. Oh, it was, wasn't it? Sure fucking Shit. was. Okay. Well, Our supporting cast is getting whittled down quite a bit. Yeah. One of these days, this one... One of these days, this elevator will not be full of zombies, it will be full of marines. <laughs> Jesse? Man, I can't think of anything that could actually top the zombie sequel to How I Met Your Mother, though. <laughs> so hard. That's going to become real. NBC's <laughs> going to green like that. God. Talk about cutscene tear. Talk about cutscenes, though. Yeah, I, I guess they want to give you bits of gameplay between them, but honestly, these could probably have just been one sequence. Yeah, because it's not like you can <laughs> save and quit between these anyway. I guess it would let you skip through them, but either way, this has not just been us walking back to the security room because we heard there would be marines. Sure is. Oh, hey, lady. Oh, there she is. Oh, I should have taken. I should have taken a photo. Whoops. Missed opportunity. No, no. Fantastic. Come on. Oh, boo. Snuff shot, Jay. Boo. Where the hell all the people? Well, they're either dead or up here. And they're not up here. Hey, gamers. How'd you get, like, 80 million people out of there so quick? Why the fuck did the game tag that photo as erotica? Oh, I see. P pretty bad. Who is this? Oh, so, I think Otis. Yep. Otis, yeah. He just ditched us with everyone, I guess. I guess. Alright, well anyway, I guess we'll just... leave. <laughs> like, what else is there to do? Everyone else left. I think... I think we're still waiting on midnight for the Marines to get in, but it's basically just going to be us playing cat and mouse with the Marines until the helicopter arrives. Fun times. Truly. Ah, oh, come on, we can't actually jump over this. Lame. He is not that athletic, are you kidding? Of course not. <laughs> of course he's not athletic. <laughs> Of course, Mr. 
Of course, Mr. Fucking Parkour here isn't athletic anymore. <laughs> His joints hurt. I forgot about that move. If you knock down a zombie and then press the grab command near their legs, you'll just fucking spin them. Oh, uh, okay. Which means, if we do this right, We're not doing this right, by the way. <laughs> Let's go! Bye. Where was this technique when we need to escort survivors? <laughs> Holy oh, sh- God. Oh my god, Frank even dropped his weapon because he got dizzy. I mean, yeah. That track. Wim can't even spin for 30 years with a zo holding a zombie. What a <laughs> He's gonna throw up. Ash, do you have any... Oh. Give, give me a minute. Oh. Yeah. Oops. Oh, Automod, like... Automod's different from it... the Streamlabs thing. Yeah, we have Automod set just to catch basic things, but sometimes it'll catch, like, strange things. I think we did that already, Sand, also. Yeah, we did that a while ago. Anyway, that was just uh, me getting a noise complaint, so it's whatever. Okay. I think... I think Automod might see Hicks. Because yeah. I know Automod has also been known for catching stuff like hillbillies. So I think it just catches that stuff automatically. That's probably it. Hey. Anyway, I guess we're just gonna jog around until we get to uh, the thing. Nah. Ooh. We got nothing better to do. We're pretty much fully at, stocked up. At this up. point, are we just like killing time? Uh, pretty much. Like honestly, if we have, <laughs> if we cut the stream while we're in the middle of this, if nothing happens by the time we cut the stream, I'll probably just sit through this until we get to the helicopter. Fair. Also, do I have permission to mod sand? Because it's true that they are here like all the time. Go ahead. Awesome. Let me figure out how to do this. That's not long enough. Mm -hmm. I really just don't have anything to do in the helicopter. Oh, took it long enough. Jeez. 
Oh, there's a helicopter out here, duh. Oh, of course. Right. Also, I I don't I do not have the power to mod, so that'll be something we'll do uh, later. Yeah, we'll do it after the stream. Either way, let's get inside because we decided to stand in the <laughs> middle of an open plaza when they've got a helicopter. We've decided to stand in the kill zone. Yeah. Wait, was that a dude with a flamethrower? Like, I want that, but also I don't want to deal with the hell I don't want to deal with that, you know? Fair. Thankfully, we're at the food court, so... Oh, hey, guys. <laughs> Maximum still. See, these guys are more threatening. But, you know, but it's all relative. Yeah. They are... They did... They're... They have the same AI as the rest of Willamette. They are not immune to chainsaw. Sure aren't. Guys, their machine gun should be more than good enough for taking them for taking care of them. If we're not just chainsawing them. <laughs> Special forces are worth five thousand apiece, so this is basically just your last chance to get a ton of experience. So Sure. Anyway. Let's go see Isabella again. Isabella, my good friend Isabella. Isabella, my mortal enemy, Isabella. <laughs> also, hang on, I'm gonna go plug my laptop in so it doesn't die again. Alright, hurry, hurry. Yeah, sorry if the energy just kind of died there. Uh, the noise complaint kind of killed my mood. Thank you to the will that department, the will that department, the will that department, the no competent. Uh, let's see, how do we just replace this chainsaw by the magazine? There's no way to tell what the durability is anything. There's no way to tell if these have good durability or not, if they're not flashing, so. I mean, I guess we could try tossing out the magazines, and then, eh. Whatever. Four chainsaws of indeterminate durability should be more than good enough for our purposes. Actually, now that I think about it, the taser might be pretty solid on them. Hmm... Is the stream technically canon in the How I Ate Your Mother universe? Uh... Yeah, How I Ate Your Mother is actually the Christmas special. Of course, we all know how this place deals with Christmas. We all know what Christmas is like in this universe. Alright, let's go check on Isabella. Legendary soldier achievement, probably for killing so many zombies. Devil May Cry 2 or Dead Rising 4? Uh, I'm going to be honest. I only played like a bit of DMC5, although I know two kind of stuff. So I guess four. Four sounds like it'd be a terrible time, but like, you know. They both seem like a terrible time. <laughs> I'm at least familiar with how. I'm at least familiar with how Dead Rising plays. What on earth is this? Okay, now this is. This is a hallway. It's a cool dead end hallway, your favorite. 
cruel dead end hallway. <laughs> anyway, we're heading back to Isabella because uh, I guess no one else. I guess no one else is in the small right now. Everyone else left. Also, the cops are here, in force, and they just shot my motorcycle to pieces <laughs> like assholes. You good there? Mm. <laughs> well, moving, moving on. Ma'am. Ma'am, please. So just, yeah, wow. I really went all the way back and forth across this place and good shot, man. I do genuinely hope it's not just 12 hours of us dicking around until the zombies disappear. There should be more story events, because otherwise that's quite bad game design. You really just... you can't really move and shoot in this game. <laughs> Shockingly enough. Oh, anyway, moving on. Right along. Cool hitboxes. 12 hour stream of us sticking around. That would be fun, but like, it's not happening. The people who have the energy for 12 hour streams are not the people who go to college. Woog, that's like, that's summer plans at, at best. They'll come, won't they? Yeah. All right, Isabella, you got any funny objectives for us? The government wants to cover this up too. Look, I would love to have the success that Germa has. <laughs> cool camera. All right, anything new happen? The truth is faded into darkness. <laughs> okay, like, I understand what's going on right now. We've gone through the ringer, the gauntlet. This is the game giving us a break. This is the game telling us to go hog wild. But, like, if you take like... the time a little bit away from dead... Like, once you've actually got your gear set up and going, taking... Taking the timers out of Dead Rising just doesn't work. That's all this game has. Yeah, like... I know timers make... I know the timers make you way too anxious for the sand, but like... We've got ten in-game hours until the story turns back on. It's a little funky. Like, we have the time to go wild, but, like, the only thing to do is take on the special forces. Who really have their priorities straight shooting at me when they're, when they're literally baked in zombies. They know what they need to do. Yep. I don't think they're doing a good job clearing the place out, anyway. They just do damage. A lot of damage, yeah, but still. <laughs> Shout out to Frank's sick auto-aim, by the way. <laughs> Doesn't even need to look. Like, if you have the wherewithal to stand still, Frank will just shoot. He's built different. The problem is, there's no way to, like, dispense with a gun until you just empty the clip. <laughs> what is this? Oh, it's a nightstick. Everyone's favorite weapon. 
Oh, let's stock up on healing items and then just... Like, okay, yes, yeah, so we could start taking... We could, like, use this time to do, like, a sweep of them all and take... And take pictures for achievements, but, like... There's just so much time. Like, ten in-game hours. We even fight... Like, remember, that is a seventh of the entirety of this game. So Not far. Great. I mean, technically speaking, we could kind of skip it by, like, you know, just... God, there's so many special forces in this mall. <laughs> you know, shockingly enough. Are they just, like, respawning so here? Are they, like, camping out the zone? I guess so. Well, it's time to see if Frank can throw up. <laughs> you know, I'm sure this chainsaw is half used. Yeah, wine is actually way more potent than straight up milk is. Like, gee, who would have thunk it? Yeah, I guess we could actually look into what those recipes are for making super smoothies. Like, that is an option. Like, yeah, Dead Rising without the timer sure exists. It's, like, it's basically just to beat him up at this point. Yeah, like, it's nice to have a little bit of breathing time, but again. Do you think the SWATs have, like, cars down here, or do you think they're just chilling down here? I think they're just chilling. Yeah. It's time to see how yeah, high I, we can I, get our zombie kill count going, I guess. I think the next story event doesn't happen until 10 a.m. Yeah, that's about what I expected. Hmm. I don't know. What do we even do until then? I mean, I guess this. This is a podcast now. Uh, we could always do... We could always go back to the infinite wellspring of power. <laughs> oh no, no, you, you leave that out of here. <laughs> which one are we leaving out? Uh, which one oh, are we leaving holy. out? <laughs> you know. <laughs> Babe, there's more than one thing we have to leave out. I'm afraid I need clarification. God. Oh yeah? What's the skip time mechanic? Oh, is there? Do we have Skyrim skip time? Can we just take a nap in the hideout? Oh, uh, you know what? Let's go once we get to... I've got it. We'll go check out the skip time thing as soon as we get to 6969. <laughs> oh. And then we're not allowed to kill any more zombies for the rest of the game, babe. Putting a real challenge on us. Oh, that took a while. <laughs> Alright, so we actually do need to turn around. Oh, dang, there isn't. There isn't? God dang no. it. Fine, I guess we will- I guess we won't get to keep 69-69, especially since I just dropped the chainsaw in favor of a shopping cart. No thank you. Yeah, speedrun for this game are real quick and I don't know how they do it. There's gotta be something you can do to make time move faster, right? I would assume... Alright. 61. <laughs> 62, 63, 64, 68. Ooh. Nice, 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 nice. nice. <laughs> I can, can't believe the truck broke. You're not allowed to kill anymore. I bet you it's less, I bet you instead of actually having a skip time mechanic, you can just clip into the final level or something. Oh, probably. Alright, let's see how long we can keep the 69-69 going. 
Because fun fact, if we get grabbed, it's a, we're incredibly likely to kill a zombie if we get grabbed. <laughs> Which is why we need to only do the zombie ride. Aww. And learn how to make good smoothies in this game, which is impossible, but you know. You know, worth a shot. We've got nothing else to do. And... Fun fact, that does Thanks. do damage. Every day we veer closer and closer to no longer having 69, 69 kills. Yeah, I didn't learn to... <laughs> Look! We have learned zero mechanics. The tiny chainsaws are so good. Ma'am. We're allowed to kill as soon as one zombie dies by accident to us. <laughs> this is now a pacifist run. Fun fact, you can actually rescue, like, most of the... You can actually get most of the survivors rescued without doing any kills. Interesting. I, I'd imagine the ones you can't are the ones barred behind fights. Like, okay. Here's the thing. It doesn't increment the counter if you kill a psycho. Or right, a psycho. okay. <laughs> You're allowed to fight stuff. You're just not allowed to kill zombies for the run. Because that's what's actually trashed in the corner, see? Ah, okay. The magic of semantics. <laughs> Alright, we have corn and we have zucchini. Let's make something great in the microwave. No. No, that's a toaster oven. Clearly, I don't own a toaster oven. Clearly. Ah. Uh, remember Nagisui's Ten Snakes? <laughs> How could I forget? <laughs> Lesbian stay winning. <laughs> Look, I'm very sorry. I never actually thought. I never sat next to the green M&M. <laughs> I can't believe you don't have Bambi for the PS2. Relationship over. Ugh. Oh. Oh no. Well, there it goes. Oh well. Tragic. Truly. <laughs> On the floor, sobbing, crying. The run is over. Oh yeah, how did the speed run work? Because I am curious how they. <laughs> Did it so quick with all this downtime. Yeah, like there has to be a way to force the game to go faster. <laughs> Does going in and out of doors actually speed it up? Oh, because it might like eat a chunk of time maybe going into the load zone. I mean, we can test that. So, 825. Eight twenty-five. Eight twenty-five. No. Okay. Okay, but that's a door. The door probably doesn't take any time. But what if we used an elevator? <laughs> what if we did something about the SWAT team over there? I don't know. They're not hurting anyone. They're hurting me. A lot. <laughs> yeah, well, that seems like a personal problem. They're also sh they're also bulletproof, which I probably should have expected. <laughs> All right. Well, first off, we gotta deal with the SWAT team because we do need experience. We need our prestige points. <laughs> We need our good weed off of these guys. <laughs> yes, babe? Nothing. 
<laughs> we don't make jokes here. We've never made any jokes. My three special forces enemies, and yes, they smoke <laughs> weed. <laughs> Man, we really haven't checked out that entrance since we, uh, started this game, huh? I mean, there's been no reason to. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. Uh, New Game Plus probably makes things a lot quicker. Ah. Shout out to the fact that we can walk all the way down to the security door. I mean, it is neat that... Oh. Hello? They unwelded it, I guess. They did! That's how the SWAT guys got in here. Oh, okay, that track. That's cute. That's fun. Never would have figured that one out. That's why they give you all this time to kill. Let's see if we go. It's unfortunate the New Game Plus does not let us just skip to the end. <laughs> clip through the map, end up at the final boss. Well, everyone, welcome to our paint drying stream. <laughs> As you can see, it is currently about 4.05, and we will be sitting here for the next six in-game hours. I mean, yeah, what are they gonna do? Shoot they us. can't get up here. God. But wait, there's nothing in here. Take the elevator over and over. Yeah. Run <laughs> up and down the stairs. <laughs> How did they get in there? <laughs> Alright, so let's see. It is currently like, it is almost 4.15. No, time doesn't pass oh. going through transitions like that. Boo. Oh! Hello, hello, welcome... James... BX420X? Okay. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Yeah. We're trying to kill time, because we're in a... We're at the endgame slump. Alright, chat. In that case, I need you to propose fucking... Sick challenges to do while we're waiting for the <laughs> while we're waiting for the helicopter. God. Look at all these nice special forces guys. And they're useless like, guns. Even for people who <laughs> Even for people who hadn't uh, min-maxed the shit out of their build, this is still just so much. Kill an enemy with something other than a tiny chainsaw. Challenge accepted. <laughs> you know what? That's a valid challenge considering the rest of our gameplay. There. Challenge complete. <laughs> also, don't worry, James. I know the feel of just having a really old username with just some dumb garbage in it. I... I'm gonna have a real- you know what, I want to see if I can throw a zombie at a special forces guy. <laughs> the problem is... Jump kick. Ah, they're immune to the jump kick. I see. Boo. God dang it. Alright, well clearly that didn't work. I don't even know what I'm doing to get that effect. If it's on sale for that cheap, I definitely recommend it. Dead Rising's a pr pretty fun time. Yeah, this game's pretty fun as long as you, you know, are fine with time constraints. Yeah, even then, they weren't too bad. Like, the worst ones were mainly due to poor management on our end. Yeah, like, for the most part, the time constraints are just there to keep you moving along. Like, in 1 and 2, they strike a good balance between being tight, but without being, like, punishing. Yeah, they're, they're cool like that. I cannot say the same about 3, which has two modes, which is either pathetically easy or literally impossible. Like, 
we've been playing this mostly blind, and we were still able to get quite a lot of the events. Yeah, like, um, for the most part, we did reload once or twice, just to... We did reload once or twice, just to do certain time events, but, like, for the most... But for the most part, as long as you just keep multiple save slots, you'll definitely be able to get through the game, no problem. Yeah. So I hope you like keeping multiple save slots, like a normal person. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, Off the Record is also pretty good. I haven't played it, but yeah, I played the I've played the actual version of two. Uh, there is a new game plus mechanic in. I'm not sure if it's this one, but I know that if you actually just lose in two, you have the option to just start over with your current character level. I believe in this one, you... um, messing up did just send us to our last save. Yeah, like, messing up, but if you want, but if you want, you can always start all over with your current levels in two. Not sure if that's a thing in one. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, like, if you run out of time on a main event, you just get prompted to go back to your last save. The game doesn't have auto saves, but as long as you save regularly, you'll be fine. Yeah, like, in terms of PP, there's no reason to actually kill zombies, because you gotta kill so many of them for, like, 500 points. I wish those cultist guys were still around. I think they might have stopped spawning once we took care of the big cultist guy in the movies. Yeah, I think that's the last time we saw any of them. Um, actually, uh, James, they do give you quite a good amount of time to explore. The way it's structured is they'll usually get, like, a chunk of main missions. And then there will be a couple hours between them that you can just kind of do whatever. Yeah, the main missions, the main missions, which are the only essential ones, are pretty generous. It's the side, you typically have just like a glut of side missions to be doing, but you have plenty of time to, exp but like even if you're doing all the side missions, which you do not have to, it's per you still get a decent amount of time just to fuck about and try stuff. And if you decide to ignore side missions, well, you get a lot of time to fuck about and try stuff. This is like... Why does this exist? This is like the worst <laughs> spot to park in the entire mall. It exists for a bomb. Like, could you imagine actually parking down here? <laughs> this is where, like, teens park to, like, get away from people. This is where teens park if they want to smoke weed. Yeah, that, that's what I was going for, and my brain was not grabbing words. Oh. Hey, thanks! Oh, thanks yeah, thank you. Oh. Thank you, thank you. For half a sec, I thought that was, like, an announcement on the mall intercom. <laughs> it does just sound like someone's on the intercom. I'm not used to the new alert yet. Yeah, our old alert was just like a little box in the corner of the screen, so we didn't end up missing follows every once in a while. Because it was heavily reliant on me being on top of watching it. Yeah, because unfortunately, I need to stare at the game screen and not the OBS capture window. I guess I could play through the capture window, but like that's a bit janky. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, I have the account. Ash is my co-host in about 90% of all streams. Yeah, I'm here most of the time, but Rachel's the one actually running it. Yeah, like, occasionally I'll do solo streams, and I've been thinking of doing them more often, but again, for the most part, if Sam, we only- Sam's a mod, I just don't have permission to mod him yet. Yeah, we'll mod Sand after this. Alright, time for the zombie ride, where you get to walk over, which is, the actual, like, prescribed means of using this is such a fun, it's so funky, because you're supposed to, like, walk along a crowd of zombies. <laughs> That's just funky. 
Yeah, it's useful for when it's literally packed in tighter than sardines, but like for the most part, I always forget about it when that when that's when you should use it. God, not having a vehicle in the maintenance tunnel is just awful. It's almost like this is built for vehicles or something. Almost. I don't know what could give you that impression though. <laughs> All right, give me a minute. We're not going to be outside for long. We do need to make it to somewhere with food because we're out of healing items. And we also haven't saved in a hot minute, so that's important to know. Yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> maybe just drop a quick save so that we don't have to do this again. That's what we're doing. Yeah, you know, that's a pretty good deal. Like. Yeah, eight bucks for both games, super nice. Let us know if you enjoy them, but they're, they're pretty solid. I assume Off the Record is as good as uh, the actual Dead Rising 2. The only difference is you get like an extra psychopath boss. And also you play as Frank Heast. <laughs> People seem to like Off the Record, so I'm assuming it's good. I would hope so. There's so many zombies in these tunnels. If you're not... The place is only good if you are using a car. All right, well, anyway. Actually, coming up here is actually really dangerous because there's going to be so many special forces guys, like, right outside. It's unfortunate. We're committed. Besides, they'll be distracted by the zombies that also spawn there. Kind of. We're safe. Oh yeah, the mall atmosphere is impeccable. <laughs> so... <laughs> Man, this is my favorite CSGO mod. We've there mastered the karate go. chop. Man, yeah, we've got... We've only got, like, a couple levels left, honestly. I mean, we've been doing pretty good. We got most of the side quests, I think the, probably helped. Yeah, I think the level cap in this game is, uh... Oh! Well, that'd be useful if we get grabbed from the back. <laughs> anyway, yeah, the level cap in this game is 50, so I'm just assuming we're gonna get a lot of, like, really good techniques in a minute. <laughs> oh, man, these guys sure can aim. Come on. I'm not giving up a tiny chainsaw for that, no matter how funny it is. Alright, well, let's go pop a save down at Isabella. Because we have this thing. to look at it, because the time limit running out really is just a chance for you to better strategize yeah. in how you tackled that day. Pretty much. Because that's what we did with that one awful chain of quests. Yeah. To be fair, that one was our fault, because we went after an objective that had literally so much time to finish off. I don't know what you're talking about, Sam. Clearly this is the intended method of play. I mean, you don't have tiny chainsaws, but you can duct tape fire racks at the sledgehammers, and that does the job pretty well. <laughs> Alright, Isabella. What have you got for me? Nothing? Nothing. Cool. I'm gonna go take a nap on the steel grating. The chainsaw for safety. I mean, it might be. Like, at the minimum, it should have more content just because of how it's set up. And I think people generally like Frank West more than Chuck John Green. Dead Rising 2. Chuck wasn't that bad. I did enjoy the fact that you need the Zombrex for his daughter instead of for you. Mm, yeah, fair. There's... 
Okay, wait a minute. There's multiple gr No, it's just the entrance is on both sides of a single hallway. What is it even the point? <laughs> I love how you can still see all the corpses from when I drove the motorcycle through here like two seconds ago, but not the motorcycle itself. Great. Alright, how much We've done a pretty good job wasting time. We still got like three hours to go. Yeah, it still sucks that they put this such a dead zone, but, you know. Yeah, we might have time to actually start the next story event before you have to go. Um, hopefully. I mean, we've got like half an hour. I mean, hey, since we're not constantly saving and reloading over those last over the same 40 minutes. We're gonna get through this day pretty fast. <laughs> I can't wonder. Oh. Let's just keep hunting down the special forces for experience. Look up the exact uh, conversion rate between like real time passing to game time, but I don't remember it. I think it was like 1 to, what, 12? Maybe. Time to go bowling, though. Dang it. At the. Why can't video game bowling be easy? You know what? No one's around to keep score. That's a strike. <laughs> Yeah, according to, to some stuff I looked up, an hour is equal to about five minutes. Yeah, so basically we had like a... God, we really did... We really are just spending 50 minutes floating around. We sure are. Neither of us owns a Wii. Excuse you! How could you forget God's gift to Earth, the Wii U? Fair enough. <laughs> Which I do own. Also, as a note, that's just an excavator. Nah. As a note, we know it's not actually going to be over. We're just waiting. We're just talking about the dead zone ending. I know about overtime. Game will go as long as you want it to. And then some. Wait. Ooh. We have. Oh, come on! <laughs> I was trying to use that karate chop skill. I believe there is a different ending for 100% completion. Like, I'm fairly certain. Well, we're not seeing that one. We sure aren't, but you know. Where does this even go? There's like a bunch of stuff in North Plaza we never checked out because this is this is area already has high zombie density. This is just one. No, yeah, this is just the way to Wonderland. Interesting. Although I didn't know there was an underground section of Wonderland. Oh wait, no, that was just the second floor. <laughs> <laughs> underground. You know, underground. Yeah, there are different endings depending on how far in you get, too. I know that much. This is like ending A, which is a good ending. Because uh, I know there's one that's just, like, objectively bad. I know there are a bunch of endings for uh, Dead Rising 2. Yeah, I mean, that would make... Ma'am! <laughs> Not the time. Everyone desires Hank Frest <laughs> carnally. <laughs> I do like how there's somehow less zombies here now. I Just mean, I here guess specifically. Being cleared out. I guess. Oh, well, guys, you did a job. <laughs> so many tiny, so many tiny chances. 
almost do play a few other games. Rachel more so than I do. Um, because <laughs> I do not have a lot of time for video games, unfortunately. Ash has been doing an em Ash is... No, wait, you finished the Emerald Randomizer, didn't you? The Emerald one wasn't randomized, but yeah, I did finish that, and that was the last game I finished. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, how about we rate these advertisements? <laughs> God. How is- wait, James, how is Fallout 76? Because I know they've updated it, like, a lot since release. Uh... It has a plot now. The plot sucks, but it does have one. <laughs> Interesting. Like, legitimately, their Wasteland Survivors update thing, which was a while back, added this whole plot line about how- about raiding Fort Knox for its gold, so that you could use the gold to restart the economy. <laughs> this is a post-apocalypse, people. That <laughs> lady needs to see a chiropractor. <laughs> yeah, this, that ad sucks. Like, what is it even trying to advertise? Kathy's Clothing. Boutique. This isn't, like, the worst Photoshop. <laughs> Look at that. They just sort of green-screened Karen from accounting onto this. <laughs> we also have Estelle's Fine Lady Cosmetics, which, uh... I mean, it works a little better as an advertisement. Yeah, like, I at least... This kind of looks like an ad you would see in a store. Yeah. Maybe not for makeup, but, like... Like, that's at least something that would work for advertising, if only because it's got a naked lady on it. Now, here's a... God dang it, man. <laughs> Dick. Wait, what am I doing with this camera? We have a fucking camera. Now, this is an advertisement, though. Awesome. Food court. We've got... A bunch of stuff that look... We've got steak, we've got whatever that is, we've got whatever that is, and, uh, noodles. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know that much about food, and these are just, like, really, these are just, like, really zoomed-in slices. I don't know if he gets a nosebleed in this game, but boy, are some of the photos of women, um, tagged interestingly. Oh. Oh, you mean, like, this one? Yeah. <laughs> this is tagged as erotic because I guess I guess It was tagged like directly on her crotch too. It was <laughs> I think what's going on is that while this is a unique model, it doesn't have a unique hitbox for the camera. Then we also have this lady who just wants you to take freaking erotic photos of her for some reason. God all right, well, anyway, we got more advertisements, so that's the food one. That's a good advertisement. We have... That was... You get no points. <laughs> Audio and video entertainment shop CD... This is not a good advertisement. That one kind of sucks. It's just, like, concrete. <laughs> oh, supporting your lifestyle. Oh, that's Chris, Chris Lips. Lips, which is the, uh... Before we fought that guy. Yeah, it was, like, in... It was like a little warehouse-style shop, you know, like, uh, the backyard of a Walmart. <laughs> yeah, that one works. That's pretty solid. Also, Admittedly, they James, could have done with putting, uh, like, a trowel or something on there. Yeah, I think James wanted to see the, the pink poster that the cult put up. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, fun fun. Yeah, these things. Notice, 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 notice. This was from a side plot and we that we completed a little bit ago. True Rye, Colby's Movie Land. Notice, 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 notice. Location Theater 4. Program Blessing from the Master. Lecture on Avoiding Satan's Temptation. A Ceremony of Divine Blood. And a representative of the True Eye text this number here to talk to him directly. 
I do wish they did more with them, because they did just drop off the face of the earth. They kind of we took out that one guy. They dropped in and they dropped out. This is definitely oh. a way to kill the kill this time. Anyway. The no sleep thing is real. We just haven't been able to see Frank's face for like ten hours. <laughs> Is this the face of a creature who bleeds? <laughs> That's actually really funny. All right, so back to advertisement reviews. Your assistance on the journey to the ultimate body, Flexen. You know, that's a good advertisement. I get what they're trying to advertise here. Spelled journey wrong. They did. <laughs> Uh, Fanfare Fashions, that works as an advertisement, it's a little bare bones, honestly. Anyone can be an athlete, I think that's, that's not a good advertisement just because that's like hard to see at this angle. Like from a person's perspective, you've got to be standing like all the way back here, and that's tiny text, even ignoring the low resolution of it. We can certainly try to get the nosebleed. The main issue is finding a good subject now that all the people are gone. I mean, we can take erotic photos of female zombie models, but we would also have to get rid of the serve bot head. <laughs> Tragic. Oh, here's a fun one. Oh. God. Toys gone mad, children. No, that's a bad advertisement, because I think that's literally <laughs> advertising... Because that is advertising... Well, no. Now, it's confusing, but that is an advertisement for, like, the children's stores. Yeah, that's fine. It's whatever. I thought that was a movie ad, or... I thought that was, like, a movie ad for a second. I love how we spent several in-game hours judging, like, six advertisements. We should. I mean, we could talk about how this rabbit has, like, a crotch window for some reason. Yeah, that, you can probably, like, go in there. It's probably, like, a bounce house. It's a really bad bounce house if it is a bounce house. Every bounce house is a bad bounce house. Yeah, but, like, you're just crawling in through this rabbit's crotch and you can't even see out from inside. <laughs> James, if we've... We've done... I think we actually completed all the missions that were presented to us, at least, but either we way... Are, we are, like, at almost end-game, end-game levels. Yeah, like, the reason this... The reason it's been so slow since he showed up is because we're... It is because we've already gotten to the facts, and once the guy... And once the mall gets invaded, no one shows up. Like... Yeah, like, like we did all the story missions, which sent everyone out of the mall except for us. Yeah, um, there's no more survivors left. Us, pretty lady, and the special forces. Alright, what else have we got? Willamette Parkview Mall, proudly maintaining tradition for 100 years, Raphael Shoes. <laughs> I'll give it. That's a bad photo, but it works as an advertisement. Yeah, so cases are like your main story missions. Those are the ones you cannot miss under any circumstances, because if you miss one, like, the whole rest of the story falls apart. Yeah, the point of the case is, is that you're here for a specific reason, and it's to have a good, and it's to make a good story about what happened in Willamette. So the case files are quite literally just the essential path. God, this resolution. <laughs> I is, love old video games. This is the supermarket. Give me that crunchy resolution. <laughs> right. <laughs> Take a deep breath of the great outdoors. Sports high. Gonna be honest, that doesn't feel like a good advertisement, and there's the load zone. <laughs> Either way, we need... <laughs> send this man to hell. <laughs> Mr. Electric, send this man to the food court. <laughs> uh... yeah, some of the achievements are like nuts. Uh, okay, so you know the endless mode where you have- where you can't save or anything? Yes. The seven-day survivor achievement takes literally 14 hours straight of the game being open. Jesus Christ. Remember, your health is constantly draining from full to empty in 20 minutes. Food doesn't respawn. The only way to get food after a certain point is to fight psychos who do respawn. 
No thanks, no thank you. But again, you cannot save the game during this mode. You just have to babysit. You have to babysit the game for like 14 real ass hours to do the seven day survivor achievement. All right, we're getting pretty close. It should kick off at 10. Yeah, 35 minutes, so let's work. Let's check downstairs to see if there's a car in the maintenance tunnel here. And either way, let's start making our way back to Isabella. You've got to love this game a lot to be willing to go through 14 hours of it in one sitting. Yeah, and remember, it's not 14 hours of the game, it's 14 hours of this section of the game. Yeah. Oog. Yeah, I feel like if I played one game for 14 hours, I would combust. So, just as a note, there is no car here. But, there <laughs> might be a no skateboard car. in one of these things. <laughs> I do not think the RNG is going to be kind to you on that one. Either way, we're just going to walk back. We're just going to walk to North Plaza. Yeah, like, I think you could pause the game, but either way, the game would ha time would have to be moving in the game for super long. <laughs> I'm sorry, what the- Oh yeah, Kojima did want to implement a mechanic where some parts just took, like, actual real weeks to complete, because he's a madman. Mmm... They've done that before. They do that in video games. They did that in fucking Dragon Age Inquisition. Ooh. Not fun. Not fun. I, I. Thing is, I love Metal Gear. I think that would be the point where I go, no thank you. Yeah, like at least Dragon Age was like an open world game where you could do something else while the timer counted down. Metal Gear does not seem like the kind of game that would support that. Like, I'm almost curious to see how he, he would pull it off, because I'm, I'm sure... Kingdom Hearts solely by sheer, um, spread of content. Yeah, like, Metal Gear is confusing, but every, <laughs> but every entry is basically self-contained outside of 4. Yeah, like, like, you can pick up... Um, most Metal Gear games and get a general feel for what's going on. Kingdom um, Hearts, you have to go, <laughs> you have to go through them all in order of how they were released. Like the thing is, Kingdom Hearts isn't even that complicated. It's just that there's so much stuff to keep track of that it's impossible to explain to an outsider. Like I could sit down and explain the plot of Metal Gear Solid fairly cohesively. Kind of, if given the chance. I could not do that with Kingdom Hearts. Yeah. Shut up about Homestuck. I, I'm going to attack you in the street. Alright, let's get to the hideout. Homestuck defies comprehension. Yeah. I didn't like how they don't even give you, like, the objective markers anymore. You just have to be paying attention. <laughs> Which is cool, because, like, now you're really on your own. The game's just throwing you into the deep end. Alright, time for phase two. Also, Stan, you would be so, so wrong. I, I was a huge Homestuck fan in middle school, and now I must carry that burden for the rest of my life. Ash, you and Thomas were big enough fans to get me to read, like, a chunk. It wasn't chunk. even Thomas, it was just me. You! You specifically got me to read a <laughs> chunk of Homestuck. <laughs> uh, I don't think this is an ending. I do think this... <laughs> yeah, spoiler warning for you, James, because we are quite deep into the game. This isn't the end... This isn't the ending ending, because again, there's overtime, and we still have to get Isabella back to the helicopter in two hours, but that's about it. Alright, talk to me. We're probably going to save after this, honestly. 
Yeah. Like, save. I don't. If there's something you can get done in like 10 to 15 minutes, try it. If every out. Alright. Uh, if I'm reading this right, we're literally just going to run through an active war zone to get back to the security room. So let's do. So let's head back to the security room and finish off there, because I'm betting you by the time we get there, it'll be about time to hop on the chopper. Fair enough. Oh, I don't like this. They actually Ooh, cleared out the that zombies. that boat's awful and you didn't save. I think this is actually, this might be like a little, this might be like a pseudo save point. <laughs> God. I'll have you know I never did any cosplay of a Homestuck. You, that burden is not mine to bear. <laughs> well, this is, just, this is just unsettling. It's so weird seeing this place so empty after... It's... Ooh... Ooh, okay, Ted Rising. Yeah, I suppose the intent of this is to show that the military's actually finished clearing out the zombies now. It's menacing for sure. Yeah, just all the bodies on the floor while the little theme plays. I can't believe... At least you get the crunchy sensation of driving over all these bodies. Jesus Christ! It'll take a very long time to do this by hand. <laughs> to be fair, this is like a temporary feed if I'm remembering my events right. I imagine so, yeah. Alright, babe, favorite game of all time. The challenge has been issued. Um... Well, Ash, obviously you've got to give me yours first. It's the world ends with you. It's... <laughs> it's the world ends with you. It's quite good. Alright, I think if I had to give it up to anything, I'd say Crosscode. Fair. Crosscode's really fucking good, too. Yeah. Although I definitely haven't put, like, nearly... F I definitely haven't put nearly 200 hours in the cross code. <laughs> I think you that... You know, sometimes you don't need to. Yeah. Disco Elysium's quite good, though. Yeah. What about you guys? What are your favorite games? Nice. I've... That's... I've never played a Grand Theft Auto, but I... Like, they seem fun. It's pretty classic. Hang on, I'm looking it up so I can figure out which one San Andreas is. I think it's the one between three and four. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Was I correct? I think so. Hell yeah. Alright, babe. This is the ultimate test. Ooh. Are they in the elevator? Are they hiding out? It'd be so funny if this was... Nope, they got Ooh. everyone. I guess we could go to the entrance plaza and see what's going on over there after we save. We still got a min we still got a few minutes. Uh, like, we're just waiting around for the helicopter to come now. Yeah, like, there really hasn't been anything interesting happening for the last, like, hour of this we have, game. We have basically <laughs> been in just chatting for the past hour. Yep. Like, I could have tried harder to level up off of the special forces, but like... Who give a shit? There was only so much to do. Let's quickly pop onto the heliport and see if we get a cutscene. No, I guess we just have to be here when it actually ticks over to uh, noon. Well, people tend to really like San Andreas. Like... Uh, what am I trying to say? I don't know. I've heard good things. Uh, 
We'll have to see. Like, I know it's solid, but yeah. So, are there not even any special forces here? Because, like, we know the special they force guys did came. their job and they left. I guess. It is weird having... It is weird how empty this place is when they showed us that big crawl of dudes. Yeah. Well... It's kind of eerie. A little bit, yeah. Either way... We only have a few minutes until the helicopter gets here, so let's finish this game already. <laughs> uh, no, we're, we're gonna on... beat the video game. We're on Steam right now. I am using a PS4 controller because, weirdly enough, this is one of the only games I've ever seen on PC that works with the default PS4 controller. I don't even have to use the program to trick the computer into thinking it's a 361. Dead Rising is built different. It sure is. All right, everyone. It is time to be riveted. Our, our good friend Brad is coming with the helicopter any second now. Oh, yes, Brad, our good friend Brad. Brad, who's still here, Brad. Brad. Brad, our friend who definitely lived and is definitely coming. Black Mesa slash Half-Life 2, The Last of Us 1, and possibly Metal Gear Solid 3. That's a pretty good spread. Yeah, that's a pretty solid spread of games. Actually, real solid game. <laughs> Prototype 1. Oh god, I feel like <laughs> that game was rent-free in my head at all times. I sincerely wish Prototype 2 was good. <laughs> it's fine, the memories of 1 will keep me here for the rest of my life. We're gonna replay Prototype 1 at some point, because we don't have VODs for it, and then we're going to have to force ourselves through 2, and it will join- and it will join the greats of Infinite <laughs> and Xenoblade for our bitching games. <laughs> I think the only Sly Cooper game I played was the fourth one, because they don't have numbers on them. We have Thieves in Time on PS Plus. <laughs> Great. Yes, oh, sand. No. <laughs> sand is. <laughs> Sand's going to hunt you down and make you play Sly Cooper. As soon as Sand hunts down the second A in my name. <laughs> to be fair, you do have the fucked up and evil spelling of Rachel. I mean, of course, of course, I wouldn't I? Ah. <laughs> uh. Riveting gameplay. <laughs> Riveting High octane game. action. At least I didn't do something stupid like name myself Raffle. <laughs> you could have. I can't believe those people we actually named We can fit so kid. many vowels into this bad boy. <laughs> I can't believe those people named their kid Rifle. <laughs> yeah, God. Rifle, Dovahkiin, what other kinds of names? What other kinds of names have hit the news as being objectively stupid? Did someone name their kid after a Homestuck? Because I feel like someone did, and if you do, <laughs> that is like a crime punishable by death. Oh yeah, I saw a post about one of those about one of those Reddit asshole threads. <laughs> the, like, here's what happened. Okay, so the person asking was like, I don't know, a daycare worker or something who knows the kid was named Friska. She mentions it to the mom. And the mom was talking about how, and the mom didn't name the, the mom did not pick out the name, the dad did, and the dad came, and the dad had like a crush on Vriska, and he came up with like this elaborate backstory and paper trail as to what, Vri as to where the name Vriska comes from to not tell her that Vriska was the name of a Homestuck character. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, the, uh, the thread itself was asking if the daycare worker was an asshole for accidentally ruining a marriage through internet knowledge. Ooh. I think if you name your kid Riska, you've ruined your marriage already. Yeah. Alright. Finale Here time! Here we go! Three day survivor.
face crusher. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the helicopter does to you. Would you land for this man? <laughs> All right, Cthulhu Allspark. <laughs> well, I'll be damned. He's still alive. That son of a bitch made it. Good friend Brad. And he got his scoop. I can't wait to get my share of the take. <laughs> Oh yeah, my favorite class from Goat Simulator, the Rouge. Hey, Lou. Thank you. <laughs> Did you know Lou was playing with your brain too? No, I didn't. Please Damn, lighten if me. Only there was some convenient right. element to tell me. If only. Actually, where's the game where we can play as him? Uh. Oh, okay. My God. There's no one questioning how that zombie got in there or why you know, it stayed still so long. Don't worry about it. It's a stealth zombie. Like, if they wanted to have it, why would they not just have the military, like, shoot down the helicopter? Because that would, that make, would, too be... much, that would make too much sense, babe. I guess so. Ah, well. I think we got the bad end, babe. Oh, no. I guess Rest I'll have... in pieces. I forgot to tell him to lock his doors when I was getting off the helicopter. <laughs> You have locked yourself into the bad ending now because you didn't do one arbitrary thing 20 hours ago. You are playing a point-and-click adventure game. Now we have to play the game from the beginning again to get the good ending. <laughs> it looks like we'll have to start from the beginning. Oh, hey, overtime mode. I wonder what that means. I don't know, babe. What could that mean? I don't know. Anyways, credits are rolling. <laughs> yeah, credits are rolling. <laughs> oh good, I can skip that. Oh cool. Oh cool, I think we got some bonuses. We got some bonus experience for doing this. 36 survivors! Oh! oh. Hey, you know what? Th not bad. Like, some of these survivors died because of their plot elements, some of them actually disappeared because, uh, that one guy did a rebellion, and we did miss, like, four or five just over the course of the game. Yeah, but pretty honestly, solid. honestly, it could be way worse. I think we just genuinely did not encounter three survivors then. Maybe... hang on. Because if we're going over the numbers, we have... we... Got like three of them killed while they were following us, didn't we? Um. Well, we got four killed. We had that one psycho we didn't put out. We had the lady in the park. We had the guy who fell off of the, uh, what you call a bouncy castle. Yeah, yeah, we had that lady who, who, uh, we didn't save because we didn't know she was there, who fell off the bouncy castle. Yeah, we had those people in the gun shop who disappeared. We had all those people who disappeared because that one guy left because we didn't get food to him in time. And all those guys in the top left are plot characters who we couldn't save. You know what? Not bad. Yeah, we did pretty good for a blind playthrough. We got the Mega Man tights. Nice. And special forces boots. And prisoner garb. And overtime mode. And here we are. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> hey, buddy. Isabella. All right, we're going to save right after this, and then we gotta cut the stream because Ash does have a class in like 30 minutes. I gotta go to school. Menacing. <laughs> Also, yippee, Frank got infected somehow. Bee, yahoo, bee. Sand, you say that, but you didn't yeah. spell my name properly. <laughs> oh, thank God. How have you found my name if you haven't spelled it? It wasn't easy getting you back here by myself, you know. You collapsed on the roof. Turns out not sleeping for 72 hours straight no, I... doesn't work. Probably does something Wait. to your body. Yeah. Does that mean... Sam, you're really winding us up here. What is my name? <laughs> I can't wait. This is a Rumpelstiltskin moment. <laughs> if you don't say my name correctly, I get your parents' bank account. <laughs> If you don't get correctly, you must give us your credit card. You have to give me the funny three numbers on the back. It's all you have left. You must have gotten yourself infected somehow. <laughs> the time between infection and zombification differs greatly from person to person. You're lucky, Frank. It's only doxing if I use that- if I have that name tied to my so, legal identity. Uh, <laughs> you are like a ghost. So I don't even have a social media. Is that I get to spend longer waiting for the inevitable, is that it? <laughs> you know, I'm not sure lucky is the word I'd use. <sighs> <laughs> Sam, why don't you- Sam, why don't you just DM Ash whatever my name is? <laughs> the helicopter crashed. No one's coming to help us now. Actually, you know what? We can start overtime mode from the main menu. And if not, well, uh, whoops, I guess we're not seeing the finale. Sand did in fact get correct spelling. Congratulations! Congrats, Sand. I hope everyone has enjoyed Dead Rising. I hope you'll all be here on Thursday when we come back for overtime mode. Maybe. Maybe. Have a wonderful day, everyone, and goodbye. Bye!